By engaging voters and turning out communities of color and young people, we can take back our power at every single level. Our organizations are mobilizing voters in the 2020 election at a mass scale. Arizona didn't become a swing state overnight. Arizonans have organized for over 10 years to overcome oppression. 2010, SB 1070 was the anti-immigrant law that was the powder keg that sent a lot of people to the Capitol. I got involved because in 2010, when SB 1070 passed, I decided that I didn't want to be afraid anymore. These organizations are from these neighborhoods. They know the issues, they've lived the issues day to day. That is why they're best equipped to talk to these voters. Our goal is to be a trusted organization that is led by black folks, that centers black folks and has the best interests of black people in mind. We can make or break an election. We have to continue to show up for our interests and for our community. And one of the ways we can do that is through voting. Because of the pandemic, particularly on our lands within Navajo communities where we've been hit so hard, you know, most of our advocacy is going to be through mass text campaign, phone banking. Our campaign is to ensure that we get one million voters to march to the polls. We're talking to 200,000 youth, but then we're also talking to 49,000 of their moms or their sisters or their aunts and really taking a stance on things like police violence, things like the, the work of Polimigra. Our pristine water is being destroyed, polluted. It's all regulated by the federal government. So it's really important that the Navajo people take the election seriously. There's still a lot of work to do, but we are in a moment of power that we were never before.